Today, we're going to show you how to complete a transaxle oil change on an Aaron's Icon XL zero turn mower. Now, even if you don't have this particular model of mower, follow along anyways because this procedure applies to any Aaron zero turn mower with serviceable transaxles. Now, since this is a service procedure, you wanna start with the unit on a flat level surface. You wanna turn the key to the off position and remove it from the ignition. And you wanna engage the parking brake wait for all moving parts to stop and for hot parts to cool. Additionally, we're going to reread the safety instructions in the operator's manual before starting, and we're going to review the procedural instructions in the manual as well. Let's get started. Lift the rear of the unit so the wheels are slightly elevated and position jack stands in two locations on the left and right sides of the rear of the frame. Ensure the unit is stable. Then, Remove the wheel from the hub of the transaxle being serviced. Remove the transaxle oil filter guard from the transaxle. Position an oil drain pan below the transaxle oil filter. Remove the oil filter from the transaxle and allow it to drain into the pan. Discard the filter after all oil has drained from the filter. Allow the oil to drain from the transaxle for a few minutes. Be aware that oil doesn't drain from a transaxle as quickly as it does from an engine and could take up to 10 minutes to drain completely. To help the oil drain more easily, loosen the transaxle vent port on the inner side of the transaxle. For easier access to the transaxles, you can remove the heat shield from the rear of the unit. Loosen the vent plug to the point where it can be loosened with your fingers, but do not remove the plug. Apply a thin layer of oil around the new oil filter gasket. Install the new oil filter onto the transaxle. The filter should spin relatively effortlessly until it makes contact with the transaxle. If it doesn't, you may be cross-threading the filter. Tighten the oil filter with an oil filter wrench about three quarters of one full turn. Remove the fill cap from the transaxle oil expansion tank and insert a funnel into the tank. Add 15W50 synthetic motor oil or an equivalent to the expansion tank until full. Wait several minutes for the oil level to drop and slowly add more oil into the expansion tank until it once again fills to the top. As oil is added, pay close attention to the vent port on the side of the transaxle. Stop adding oil when oil appears to drip from the vent port. Tighten the transaxle vent plug and wipe the residual oil from the transaxle. There is no torque specification for the vent plug, so tighten until you feel a firm amount of resistance on the plug. Check the oil level on the transaxle oil expansion tank. If oil is not at the cold fill line on the tank, add oil until it reaches that line. Remove the funnel from the tank, wipe oil from the tank exterior, and reinstall the tank cap. Remove the oil drain pan from under the transaxle and reinstall the oil filter guard with its original hardware. Disengage the transaxle by pulling out the bypass lever at the rear of the unit. Engage the parking brake and start the engine. Then, release the parking brake. Slowly move the steering lever that controls the transaxle which was serviced forward and back about five or six times to purge air from the transaxle. Push the transaxle bypass lever in to re-engage the transaxle. Once again, slowly move the steering lever forward and back about 5 or 6 times. Stop the engine and wait for all moving parts to stop and for hot parts to cool. Reinstall the heat shield with its original hardware, but be especially cautious when working near the muffler because it could be hot from operation during the purge process. Reinstall the wheel and secure with its original lug nuts. Torque the lug nuts to the specification listed in the operator's manual for your unit. Now as you saw, this procedure was a little bit more intensive than some of those that we've showed you in the past. So for assistance, ask your local Aaron's dealer for help. 
For replacement oils and filters, you can find those at your local Aaron's dealer or at the Aaron's online parts store at parts.aarons.com. If you like this video and would like to see more content from Aaron's, subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the Aaron's icon in the lower right hand corner of the video.